hello everyone uh, so today I'm going to show you how to access the last element uh, uh, in a list uh, so for this I have already written the program uh, as it's very simple uh, program so I have already written it and I will just go through the code and show you how actually to do it okay so for this uh, video what I have done is I have created a class called as game which contains uh, two variables game ID and game name so this is the constructor uh, and this is another constructor which has a parameter this is a parameterless constructor and this is a constructor having two parameters called as game ID and game name so when you create an object pass these two uh, values and initialize the variables okay so I'll show you how to do that so and then uh, I have created a list object called as games which is basically a list of this object okay so it will contain a collection of these objects all right uh, so now to add new objects to, to this list we have to initialize a game object like this what I have done here so game one new game one cricket game two is two football and game three is three hockey so three game objects has been created now we have to add it to this list object so I have done that here I have just added it uh, one by one uh, to this uh, list object called as games okay uh, now to access the last element let's say we want to access this particular element right now the, all the three are in the games uh, list so to do that you have to use this property called as last or default now in order to access this you have to use this import this uh, namespace uh, called as system dot link and also if you want to uh, use this list object uh, you need to use this system dot collections dot generic then only you will be, be able to create uh, a list object and once you have done done this import this namespace as well so that you can access uh, all these different uh, methods like this you can see uh, you can get a list of this uh, uh, this kind of methods and properties uh, so that is in the system that links namespace so you'll be able to access all those so once that is done uh, so what I have done here is I have just uh, created a variable called as last item this will access the list object the last element of that list object and then uh, using and then when you say last element dot uh, you will get both these variables which are inside this game object so game ID and game name and if I run this application so it will print 3 and hockey so let's run this and see now as you can see so it is printing a uh, three and hockey so uh, that's all uh, that's how you can uh, you can access the last uh, element so uh, thanks a lot for watching this video if you like this hit the like button and uh, please subscribe uh, to my channel thank you